Hey guys, it's All Day TDD here, and uh, today, um, well, this episode, I am uh, going to be talking to you guys while playing some Pocket Morty, and uh, as you can see on my phone right here, if I can get it up, it's 12.15 in the morning, uh, or at night, whatever you guys want to say, but um... Yeah, I'm doing this to try to stay consistent, stay on the YouTube grind of two episodes a day. And, uh, yeah, so today, um, I haven't really chosen a topic. Here, let me think of one while we're attacking this, uh, Scruffy Morty. Uh, Flail. Nice. Oh, you slam. Um, so, let's think, uh, let's talk about, alright, how about, how about this? Let's talk about, if you guys didn't know, here, let me start this off by saying a game that you guys might not know about. Um, I'm a, actually a really big fan of, uh, the series. Um, of, uh, Mirror's Edge. And, uh, Mirror's Edge, if you didn't know, was a big par- uh, a parkour game that was, uh, early Xbox 360. P- I think it was the only Xbox 360, I'm not sure if it was for PS3, but I have it on Xbox 360. I, I know it was on PC as well, so it was probably on PS3. But, um, what, uh... Um, but that game was, fr- it was outstanding. It was especially ahead for its time. Um, it was amazing graphics for the Xbox 360. Um, what else did it do? Uh, it, you, uh, the parkour was amazing. The physics was outstanding. And, uh, you could, uh, it was one of the games where you, it was more of an open path running through stuff you didn't have to attack people it was amazing if you guys want to check out uh the thing i'd suggest nerd cubes video just type in nerd cube uh mirror's edge playthrough um it's only one episode 30 minutes and he gets through it all because he's the editing god but um what i wanted to talk about today was another nerd cube video where he did the beta for uh nerd cube uh catalyst the if you guys didn't know that either it's the new uh, remake for uh mirror's edge so uh oh i'm about to get attacked just go 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 um so in that it's uh pretty much uh well at the trailer at e3 it showed it more as like mirror's edge but with um with uh better graphics pretty much and i would say oh yeah i would very much enjoy it if it just stayed almost exactly like the original mirror's edge it would be a fantastic game but as nerd cube showed uh in the beta it wasn't at all it's completely different pretty much um and i'm gonna tell you what uh the things that killed it were so, the things that, oh, Shibuya, Rick, so the things that killed it were pretty much, uh, I'd say pretty much, because the thing that kind of killed it for Nerd Cube was that, um, the low, uh, frame rate. With the frame rate, for me, it's not very much a factor for me, I don't really care, I mean, I do care, but I don't, it's a beta, so it, it'll be fixed. What I w- had a problem with, and what NerdCube also had a problem with, was um how much... uh So, in the... <laughs> I have to keep going back and forth. And excuse me if I'm rambling, I'm really tired. Um, the In the original Mirror's Edge, you just have all your abilities and you just go. There's no upgrades, there's no nothing, you just do. You just go through the game and it's beautiful. In the old, in the new one, excuse me, in the new one, 
there's an upgrade system and I'd be okay with the upgrade system if it was like new stuff like cool stuff I'd be alright if you just had the basics but no absolutely not what you do is uh you freaking um uh here I'll keep playing uh the thing is in the new one you get the abilities you had in the old one you literally upgrade to get the same abilities you already had in the old one what kind of thing e ea what kind of what is that why would you uh cry why would you use the same i i'd be okay if you use the same thing but why do you need to work to get the same old thing i don't understand why would you do that why why would ea make it so the game is harder you you make the game harder by taking away the stuff you had before and making it upgradable i'd be okay if you thank you bro thank you bro man um i'd be okay if you made it so that it was new abilities and you upgraded it and you do that but no you're upgrading to get the old ones and so you're making it harder by taking away his stuff but you're getting it back that's entirely what the opposite of the gaming industry. If you take the old stuff away, you're supposed to get new stuff to try to make it better. Like in Batman and stuff and stuff like that. Like you take away your equipment and so you have to make new ones. That's fine. Why would you take the old stuff away and freaking make us get it back? What? So, uh, I don't know. Uh, that makes no sense to me, first off. And here's the second thing. Um, so they announced at EA that it, uh, not EA, E3, that it would be, um, uh, an open world game. And that itself, I, I mean, if, <laughs> if it would work, I'd be at, great with. So at E3, I already had doubts about this. And, it looks like the open world, it may be open world, but what you're doing is you're just running back and forth through the same thing. So it's not open world. Open world is supposed to be like uh, my poster of Assassin's Creed Revelations, an older game. That did open world better than your freaking beta. And are you kidding me? Oh, like, when was that game made? Uh, 2011? And it's like... And your 2016 game can't do open world right. And people might be saying, oh, it's a beta. It's not the full uh, map thing. It's a, it's a first missions, right? And it says you uh, unlock the map. So why would they not? Why would that not be it? So they said it's open world, which they I guess they didn't lie about. But they're cheaping you out by going through the same routine thing. Why would I want to go with the same routine thing? It's like, if you don't go through the same routine thing, you can't get to the mission. So if you don't get to the mission, you can't get the upgrades, and you can't free run. So you're basically restricting yourself of the game. You're making it so the game is pretty much unplayable without stuff. Because the basic things that you need is to, like, roll when you fall so you don't die, and you can keep momentum. That's an upgrade. Are you kidding me? That's an upgrade? Are you, are you joking? That is, that's literally unacceptable. Like, that can't, <laughs> you can't just make it so your game is unplayable and you have to upgrade. How are you going to get through to upgrade? How are you going to get points to upgrade if you can't play your game? <sighs> I'm I'm really disappointed. I love Mirror's Edge, and I was hoping to God that that would be a good game. And may, maybe, maybe they'll fix the beta, but it has a month. A month and then it's coming out so that's that, unless they fix the major things then it's gonna be very bad and um, they're gonna tank it and mirrors Edge is never gonna get a reboot because they just failed so uh, yeah that's what you get from EA EA sucks EA absolutely sucks their new battlefront is the worst out of all the battlefronts and they could they made it worse than a PS2, and they're doing it on a PS4 and Xbox One and PC. How could they make a PS2 game better 
than their PS4, Xbox One, and PC games. You know why? Because they're cheap. EA is cheap, and they don't want to spend any money on their games. Watch, EA is going to take my video down or something. But, um, yeah, that was, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, tell me in the comments if you guys want me uh talking about more stuff i have a uh, lots of opinions on the gaming world and uh yeah it could be uh related not to the gaming world too if you guys want but yeah yeah rick but um yeah that's basically it for this episode um t uh, yeah so tell me in the comments if you guys want more of this um yeah, sorry if it was just boring and rambling. I'm it, I'm really tired. I had a long, like, stressful day. And, um, I, I wouldn't say it was stressful. It was good. I, got, I went to go see The Jungle Book. And that movie was freaking amazing. So, yeah. It was all together a good day. Just really tired. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you liked it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.